Programming in JavaScript is usually pretty fast, since the interpreter does everything it can to make whatever garbage you throw at it actually run. A famous example of this is its infernal type system. To perform operations between values of different types, most languages require you to manually convert one element to the other's type. Yeah, no, JavaScript does not. Give it a stupid instruction, it'll run, even if it makes absolutely no sense. Some reasonable examples include putting a plus in front of a value to convert it into a number, or even prepending an exclamation mark to cast a value into the opposite of the boolean it associates to. And then, for some bizarre reason, adding a list to something creates a string. And yes, even two lists added together does that. By exploiting these three conversions, you can actually write any program imaginable using just six characters. By starting out with these and by combining them in different ways, you can write what is known as JS files, as an homage to it looking very similar to the esoteric language brain files. We can visualize all of this by using an iceberg. Since arrays are true we can get true and false values like this. Zero can be obtained by applying a unary plus to an empty array, and one can be obtained from a true value. By chaining this one expression multiple times, you can obtain any digit you want. If you put a number in an array and add to that other arrays containing other numbers, you get a string of digits. Applying a unary plus to this lets you get any integer necessary with a reasonably little amount of code. Then if you try getting the empty array property of an empty array, you get an undefined. By casting these values to strings, you can index the following individual characters. By concatenating the above strings, we can build the words flat and entries. Stringifying the flat method of an array gives one of two possible results depending on the interpreter, but both give consistent access to the word function and a bit of punctuation. Calling the entries property returns an array iterator, which gives us a couple extra characters to work with. We can now build the constructor string, which lets us access the number string boolean and function constructors. Sure, this comes with a few extra characters, but function is special. Calling it with a string returns a function that when called runs the code within. This means we can now evaluate any valid code built up by character concatenation. If we get the name property of the string constructor, then prepend t and o, we can get the two string property of numbers. This function takes an optional base argument which lets us convert numbers into base 36 strings, giving us access to all remaining lowercase characters. Buckle your seatbelts, things are about to get terse. We now have every character necessary to build this abomination, and by using the function constructor, it can be executed. Since calling dot normalize on an invalid value raises a range error, we can catch it and return an exception object. Stringifying that gives us the capital letters R and E. By reusing the function trick, we can obtain a regexp constructor. Calling it with no arguments returns a forward slash. Take it and pass it as the argument of another regexp call. This gets us a backslash. This expression returns a comma, but if we put it inside of a function within a try catch inside of another function, we can obtain a syntax error. When stringified, we get a single quote. At this point, we can get any Unicode character imaginable with this expression. You can now take some normal JavaScript code and replace each character within with one of these substitutions. Then execute it all with one last function call. You just wrote a fully fledged valid JavaScript program using a total of just six different characters. Note that different versions and runtimes of JavaScript have different behaviors, so JSFuck will work differently everywhere. This video simply showcases the most supported methods, but shorter variations exist in newer versions of JavaScript. That was a byte of JSFuck, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one.